for Frank. Uh, question right here, Frank. You guys didn't make a three in the first half, got out rebounded, weren't shooting very well. What did you guys do to, to rally things in the second half? Uh, I think we just believed in each other. Uh, we kept our confidence and uh, we just started to drive the ball downhill and uh, you know stay in attack mode and uh, just try to execute on the offensive end. Josh, you came out like Josh right here, front. Uh, like Pat mentioned, you guys didn't make a three in the first half. You came out and hit back-to-back -back threes to open the second half. Do you think that kind of loosened guys up and gave you some momentum for the rest of the half? Definitely. Um, I find times where you know I'm in practice shooting with the guys and you know they're all making threes, and it gets kind of contagious a little bit. So I feel like I kind of opened it up for us a little bit. It got a little contagious. Josh, back here, just along those lines, I mean, obviously you've played in big atmospheres before, but was there anything about this that was it all dawning early, and, and what did you guys have to do to kind of just <laughs> rally together, for lack of a better term? Um, coming into the game, we knew there was going to be a point in time where we were down and trying to come back. Uh, we knew they were going to go on a run. Um, the thing that we really just had to do was just keep believing in each other, never stop fighting, you know? Um, I think we went down 12 points at one time, but you know we all knew, we all had it in our heads that we were gonna get back. This is for uh, both players. Uh, talk about your defense in the second half. What did you do differently and how was it, how effective was it? Uh, I think Coach did a good job of um, you know, changing defense. And, um, we changed defense probably three times and I think they all were pretty good. Um, everyone showed strong help. Um, we closed out on the shooters, you know, they made some tough shots, but you know, we can live with that. We just want to contest everything. And, um, you know, that was mainly it. Uh, Coach did a great job of, you know, uh, switching the defense, defensive uh, sets up. And um, I think we did a good job of adjusting to it. Uh, same thing, just switching defenses, I think really threw them off a little bit. So that helped a lot. Frank, how much you guys have been through a lot over the years. How much do you think that experience helped you in this atmosphere and with everything going on? It helped us a lot, you know, to come in here and get a win. It's a great team, great program. You know, the tradition is is great here. And, um, you know, just for all the guys to come here and experience that, you know, it helped us a lot moving forward when it really matters. For both players on your right, you were just talking about the defense. When you went zone, it obviously bothered it. What did the pace of the game feel like at that point? How much did it change? It felt a little slower. Um, they're an outstanding transition team. And, uh, I think that's the strongest part of their game. Uh, it's just them running the transition. So um, switching up to the zone was mainly just trying to slow them down. All right. I'm sorry. The pace of the game, what did it feel like? Um, like Josh said, it, it kind of slowed up, um, gave us a chance to catch our breaths on, on the defensive end, and, um, you know, um, I think it was it was pretty good. We were active, and, you know, um, hopefully we'll have to do that moving forward because we take pride in playing man-to-man -man and, and guarding our man. So whatever helps us get the win, you know, we're willing to do. Uh, right here. Uh, right here. Uh, I already have a mic in my hand, and uh, these two questions that, uh, that I wanted to uh, pretty much pronounce, but I will segue off of that. It appeared that you all, uh, when you switched the defenses, you went to the zone, it got, it, it got the game into a half court game for about a five minute stretch. What about three or four minute stretch there? And uh, you feel like that that uh, put y'all in a position to, to actually grab a, a whole game? Definitely. It, it played into our favor uh, to turn into a half court game. Um, like I said earlier, they, they strive in transition. They're really fast and really athletic. So, you know, going to his own really helped us to slow them down and give us a little break on defense because we don't really have that many guys. So a lot of our guys are tired out there playing so many minutes. Josh, how important was it for you to emphasize the glass tonight? And what do you think <laughs> about the job Dwight did for you guys too? Oh, Dwight did an amazing job tonight. Um, just being a presence down low for us. <laughs> Uh, Landon as well, uh, he always does a great job, but I think it's just one of my jobs on the team, just always trying to get to the glass, you know, help the big guys out, and um, even Frank and Devontae, they go a lot too, they got some real key rebounds. Uh, I think Devontae grabbed about three at the end, real big ones, so it's just a team thing. 
Josh, uh, Coach Shelf said on, on Thursday, given some of the distractions you guys have had this week, that he had a lot of upset guys that were maybe going to, he hoped, you know, use the basketball before this escape this week. Do you kind of feel like that happened today? A little bit, but, um, you know, coming out here, no matter what's happening on, off the court, basketball, when we're out here, is always our main focus. And I think everybody did a really good job of just staying focused today. I mean, we forgot about that until you just asked. Frank. 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 You seem like the defensively they were switching a lot with their bigs onto you. Um, was that kind of your guys' attack mode in, in terms of the game? Uh, not really. Coach tells us all the time, you know, uh, don't play to the mix match. Just, you know, uh, move the ball and, you know, it'll naturally come. So that's what we tried to do. A couple more guys. <laughs> For both you guys again, um, I know Frank over here to your, to your left. Um, sorry, the, the, the same question sort of you were asked before, but how much did you talk about not talking about the other stuff? In other words, the coach self make it a point to say to you, here's how we're going to keep our, our eyes on just this. Was it something you had to think about to get in that mindset that you were going to throw that other stuff aside? Uh, not really. Uh, you know, coach, coach tells us, you know, focus on the things we can control. And I think we do a pretty good job with that. Um, and we just have to do that moving forward and not get uh, distracted by anything. And just, just focus on what we can control. Uh, same thing, pretty much. Josh, you've played against Malik Monk and De'Aaron Fox a lot previously. Uh, how much fun is it to be able to face them on such an elite level? Oh, it's a lot of fun. Um, both the guys are great athletes, great players. Uh, and the thing I really like about them is they're both competitors. They really want to win. So I knew it was going to be a fun game coming out. I knew neither side was going to give up no matter you know how much the other team went up or went down. It was going to be a fight to the end. Josh, you kind of touched on Landon's impact, but how important was he for you guys today? Uh, without Landon, <laughs> I don't know where we would be. So uh, he's just an amazing force down there. He really helps us out. And we got a uh, big guy down there like Bam. Without him, I don't know who would have guarded. Uh, almost fouled out, maybe. Who would have guarded? Well, he almost fouled out like all of our bigs. So, um, just being down there, grabbing rebounds, contesting shots, uh, it's real big for us. All right, fellas. <laughs>